Okay, so we want to calculate the density of a gas at standard temperature and pressure if a given volume of the gas effuses, that's going to be a keyword, tells us what equation we're going to use. Anyway, this gas effuses through an apparatus in 6.60 minutes and the same volume of nitrogen at the same temperature and pressure effuses through the same apparatus in 8.50 minutes. Okay, so since the temperature of the first gas equals the temperature of the second gas, then we know the kinetic energy of the first gas equals the kinetic energy of the second gas. So that's real important. That means that the formula for kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So we know then if the first gas is bigger, it's going to go slower through the apparatus. It's going to leak more slowly because the molecules are bigger. Whereas if these uh, molecules of the gas are smaller, in order to have the same kinetic energy, they have to make up for that smaller mass by going faster. So we get a little equation that puts these two together and um, we're going to use, instead of velocity, we're going to use rate. And I get this because we know it's effusing. When we see that term effuse, we know we're going to use this equation that the rate of gas 1 divided by the rate of gas 2, We you could use velocity, it's going to be the same, but we talk about the leakage rate or a fusion rate. This is going to equal the square root of the inverses of their molar masses. So the molar mass of gas 1 is going to go on the bottom. Always remember that. And molar mass of gas 2 is going to go on top. It's the inverse. Okay, so we know also that rate is not the same thing as time. Rate is going to equal, in terms of gases, milliliters, uh, and this says per minute, so we're going to do milliliters per minute. That's our rate. So notice, time is on the bottom. And a lot of students want to put time over time, but it's really time is on the bottom. So let's go ahead and set this up. We have a certain number of milliliters. It says right here a given volume, we don't know how much, effuses through an apparatus in 6.60 minutes. So that's how we set that up, milliliters per minute. And then it says uh, nitrogen, and it says the same volume of nitrogen effuses through the apparatus, same apparatus, in 8.60 five zero minutes. Now I don't know the milliliters but I know they're the same so they're gonna cancel out and that's what makes this problem a little easier is now we can just put a one there. So the the inverse of the rates is going to be one over 6.60 minutes I don't mean inverse I mean ratio of the rates uh, divided by 1 over 8.50 minutes and that's going to equal the square root and we're going to put the molar masses here but now we need to remember who goes on the bottom 6.60 um, goes with our unknown gas so that's going to be the molar mass of our unknown gas and 8.50, it says same volume of nitrogen effuses in 8.50 minutes. So this is going to be the molar mass of N2 because they are reversed from each other. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, um, what we can do is simplify this math. And we're going to end up with, when we take... Uh, when we take this together, we get 1.29 equals the square root of the molar mass of N2 
divided by the molar mass of my gas. Now if I square both sides, what I get is 1.65 equals, now I'm going to plug in 28 here for nitrogen, 28.00 grams per mole because that's the molar mass of nitrogen, 14 times 2, divided by the molar mass of my gas. Okay, so solving for the molar mass of the gas, that's going to equal 16.9 grams per mole. Okay, so we're halfway there actually. That's the molar mass. And what we're really asked to find though is density. So let's move this up. Yeah, we got room. And um, you can remember that PV equals NRT, and there's ways to manipulate this such that um, if we include grams on both sides, then we get uh, grams per mole and grams over volume. Uh, what that is is going to be, um, this is going to be grams over volume, mass over volume is going to be density, and grams over mole is going to be molar mass. So my molar mass is going to equal the density times R times T over P. So molar mass equals density times R times T over P. Molar mass equals dirty P if you want to do something funny to help you remember. Okay, so now I'm going to solve for density. I'm not going to set it equal. Density then equals molar mass times pressure over R times T. And we are at STP. So that's real nice. We don't need to know the volume um, in order to find the density in this case. So density equals 16.9 grams per mole. My pressure is um, one atmosphere because we're at STP. I'm going to divide by 0.0821 liter atmospheres over mole Kelvin. That's R and T, it, we're again, we're at standard, so that's 273.15 Kelvin. And my density turns out to be, give it a little color here, 0.74, oops, 7.54 grams per liter. So density of gases, we usually use liters because they're not very dense, and so we want to keep a number that's reasonable. So the density of this gas is 0.754 grams per liter.